In today's video, we're going to be looking at how suitable a French Bulldog is for a first time dog owner. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir CanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect French Bulldogs. So if you're a lifelong French Bulldog lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new French Bulldog, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at how suitable a French Bulldog is for a first time dog owner. Let's start by looking at their temperaments. The French Bulldog is a companion dog through and through. This little dog much prefers the company of people to being isolated. They can be extremely sociable dogs if socialized properly as a puppy. And I'll go into more detail about socialization later on in this video. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely three principles to the perfect puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there again. There'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. They're very playful, and so they can be suitable for families with children, but again, this is dependent on their socialization. Their historical instincts make them a perfect four-legged best friend, meaning that for their first time dog owner, they could become perfect additions to the family. But if you are precious about sharing your favorite spot on the sofa, this breed probably isn't for you. Their affection is arguably what has made them one of the most popular breeds today, but it's worth noting that they may become a bit possessive of their owners. As a couple, you can tackle this by training in equal parts and spending as much time with your friendship as your partner. When training these little dogs, be prepared to come across an intelligent pet with a stubborn and mischievous side. Due to this, you may need to remind them on occasion where they are in your family pack, but consistent training should reduce the need for that. Now for more on their training. So yes, their stubbornness can hinder their training and test your patience. However, for their owner, they will be eager to please. It's always best to discover if your dog is more food or praise orientated early on, so they associate training with the reward they want from a young age. A firm hand is what's gonna be needed to train your Frenchie, but harsh correction is unlikely to produce a well-trained dog. French Bulldogs respond best to positive reinforcement. Don't be put off by the stubborn stereotype. Frenchies can be trained using simple commands. You won't need a cruff level of experience to create a well-trained French Bulldog, just plenty of patience. As a puppy, once they're cleared to meet and root other people and other dogs, it's so, so important to socialize them correctly. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean meeting as many dogs and as many people as possible. It's more that they need to explore the world around them in a positive way to ensure that you have a well-rounded dog that's less likely to be reactive. Taking this mischievous little dog into places like cafes and dog parks and teaching them from a young age not to beg or not to charge over to every dog they see is crucial to have a happy life with them. Whilst they're not the most intimidating breed to look at, their stuck up ears and alert eyes can come across as confrontational body language to another dog. The last thing you want them to think is that bounding over to all the other dogs that they see is good manners. It will get them into trouble should they approach a nervous or reactive dog. Frenchies are deceptively energetic little dogs, needing at least one hour of exercise a day over two or three shorter walks. As puppies, it's best to try and keep them from being too rambunctious to protect their growing joints. Once they're matured, you'll have a good walking companion that will enjoy simple walks to the park with you. Just keep in mind that whilst they're not of working intelligence, they can be mischievous, so a moderate level of mental exercise is also key to keeping them and you happy. It would be doing the breed an injustice if we didn't highlight a few medical concerns any French owner should be aware of. We do have a health deep dive video if you would like some more information, but for now I will just overview the most important parts. Brachycephalic flat face breeds can have issues when breathing, which can be handled by keeping your pup at a healthy weight, watching they don't overexert themselves and keeping them cool in hot weather. Their adorable little faces will need regular cleaning, especially between the nose folds. The flaps of skin can harbor bacteria, so keeping it clean will prevent any irritation to your little pup. And as always, we recommend consulting vet professionals if you have any major concerns. Now, let's say you've researched and located a reputable breeder that will give you a lively, adorable Frenchie pup. You have to be able to give them the best home. Again, in the early stages, it's best to ask a reputable breeder who they think the breed is perfect for. They will know the breed inside and out, meaning they can make sure suitable homes are found. French Bulldogs are small, friendly, affectionate, and have relatively long lives. Now, these all sound like good traits, but only in the right environment. 
A Frenchie is not for you if you have to leave them alone for long periods, or pressures about sharing the sofa with a dog, or expecting a baby at the same time. Looking after a newborn and a new puppy is a mammoth task, no matter how small the dog. As much as you might prefer one breed over another, you have to be somewhat objective on looking at your suitability. If you have an outdoorsy job that allows a four-legged co-worker, a bigger, more independent breed may be more suited to you. However, if you can spend the majority of your time with your Frenchie and enjoy leisurely strolls through the parks and country roads, they may just be the best companion for you. Let's recap what we've gone through today. Their affection, playful nature, and historical instincts in excelling as companions, these little dogs can be the best dog for a first-time dog owner. Whilst their stubborn streak can require patience when training, it isn't something that should deter anyone from getting one. Consistent training is the key to correcting this. They will enjoy leisurely walks with their owners and they will still have the energies for a playful episode later in the day. They will seem to have endless energy but will always want to take their favourite place on the sofa next to their favourite human. Their recent popularity has caused irresponsible breeding that has accentuated some of their medical issues. To best tackle this, please, please do your research before buying one. A healthy Frenchie will be a loved, fun member of the family but one from a reckless breeder will more than likely come with the challenge of a major medical issues. And make sure you can give a Frenchie a suitable home. They will be part of your life for a long time. It's fair to say that a responsibly sourced Frenchie is a suitable dog for a first-time owner, but there are just some aspects that you should be aware of. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel.